Hello, good morning, and welcome to Fort Loramie High School, where tonight on WOSN we've got a fantastic non-conference volleyball matchup between the visiting St. Henry Redskins and the homestanding Fort Loramie Redskins. I'm Garrett Seawright, got all the action for you here this morning from Fort Loramie as St. Henry comes into today 8-2 on the season. Fort Loramie is 11-1. They're winners of 10 straight, but their last loss and only loss of the season came at the hands of St. Henry at the Coldwater Spike Off back in August. So Fort Loramie riding high. St. Henry playing really well recently, too. Won their own Invitational and a couple of wins over Newark Catholic Galleon and Buckeye Central. Got back-to-back -back wins in the Midwest Athletic Conference over Marion Local and Minster after dropping to Coldwater to open the max slate. So St. Henry 2-1 in the Midwest Athletic Conference. Fort Loramie already 6-0 in the Shelby County League as we get set to play here as Jaden Rose will send it away for the Redskins of Fort Loramie. And we're underway here, and she starts the match with an ace. A good start for Fort Loramie. And Rose just put it in a perfect spot to make it 1-0. Knuckleball received by St. Henry, kept alive by Fort Loramie. Brandon, we will roll it over. Dug out by the Redskins. Whirling, the back set. Fulton camp to swing, wide, and the point goes to Fort Loramie. So a quick 2-0 start for the home team. They are on the left side of your screen. St. Henry on the right. Tipped over by Whirling, put it in a great spot just inside the line. Nobody home for Loramie. And that makes it 2-1 St. Henry. And that will send Morgan Bomber back to serve for St. Henry. Leads and aces at 23. As Brandaway can't chase down the long pass. And just like that, we're knotted up at two. Bomber will send it away again. Stung it just over the top of the net. A great save by Fort Lormy. As Summer Owing has a long way to get it over. Does. Whirling. Quick set by Fullen. Quick set to Fullen Camp. Blocked at the net. St. Henry rolls it over. Barhorst. Cross court pass to Brandewe. Blocked. Kept alive. Gels puts it nearly down, but no. Fort Lormy keeps it alive. Whirling. The set. We get a whistle and a red skin in the net for Fort Loramie, gives the point to St. Henry, three in a row for the visitors. So Bomber will continue to serve the 5'8", soft, 5'6", sophomore, I beg your pardon. Lolly pops a short one. Barhorse, cross court pass to Brandewee, tipped up in the air, dug out by Busher. Whirling dumps it in the campfire, nobody home, and it's four straight for St. Henry. Whirling climbed that ladder and got it just a peek out the right side to see nobody in the center of the floor. Dumped it home. And Bomber continues to serve. And she'll tally a nace, her 24th of the season. And St. Henry has scored five consecutive points to take a three-point lead. Bomber will send her away. Another short one. Dug out by the Redskins. Quick set to Skylar Albers. Dug out by St. Henry. Raya Busher centers it up, but crossed to the center line. She's gotten a tough spot there with that pass. Came here to this near sideline. Fort Loramie stops the bleeding momentarily. On the Reese Myring in company scoreboard. The air gives St. Henry another point. Doubling up Fort Loramie now 6-3. And Raya Busher, the junior libero for St. Henry, will serve. Comes with this near side, the left-hander. Put it deep in the back row, and that's another ace for St. Henry here early in set number one. Busher ready to send it away again. That one put a little bit too much mustard on it. Past the back line, and a point is tallied by Fort Loramie. Skylar Albers will serve now. The 5'9 senior 
Where's number two for Loramie? Jump serves. Got the top of the tape. Got it over as Chloe Gells gets her first swing at it. Dug out by Fort Loramie. Rolled over by Summer Hoying. Whirling. Quick set. Blocked at the net and down on Fort Loramie's side as Carly Busher gets the kill for St. Henry. Makes it 8 4. Visitors on the scoreboard. Both sides wearing red uniforms today. Fort Lormie in a black trim. St. Henry in a white. As Barhorst cross court pass to Hoyne. Blocked at the net. Popped back up by Fort Lormie. Hoyne will get another cut at it. Busher the dig. Redskins chase it down and somehow get it over in between the twigs when it drops on the line. Fort Lormie thought it was coming wide. Hit the White line here on the sideline. Great point for St. Henry on the hustle and effort. Lydia Whirling with a knuckleball into the middle of the floor. Bar horse, cross court pass to Hoying. Dug out by Busher. Whirling, Gels blocked at the net. And down for the Fort Loramie point. Closed the window, did Victoria Mesher and Summer Hoying. Just Set the wall up, and there's nowhere for that point to go. And now Jenna Barhorst will serve. To Busher. Whirling tipped it up. Got over by Busher. Oh, Carly Busher. A big swing from Victoria Mesher. Dug out by Raya Busher. Trying to dump it into campfire. Redskins keep it alive. Get it over. Barhorst. Cross court pass. Hoing up high and down hard on the swing. For Summer Hoing, leads Fort Lormie and kills just shy of four a, a set and gets one there to shrink the lead to three. So Barhorse will serve again. Whirling, sets to Butcher, blocked. Gels will climb the ladder, didn't get on top of it. Falls behind the back line. Oh, they'll call it a tip. Got the tip, and the point goes to St. Henry. So Chloe Gells got on top of it. Popped it just enough off of Fort Loramie Redskin, and now Gells will drop back and serve. She's got 14 aces on the season. As the swing from Ellen Frilling off the block to St. Henry and down. And Ellen Frilling tallies a point on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. So Summer Hoying will send it away. Into the back row, Busher, the pass. Big swing from Molly Wendell up high and down hard. How about the 5'10 sophomore? From the middle of the floor, grows the lead to four. At 11-7, Olivia Gast. Steps on the floor for the first time. She'll send it away. Received by Fort Loramie. Got it over. Whirling. The pass. Returned to St. Henry on the swing. Tipped over by Morgan Bomber. Brandoe the swing. Took some off of it. A big swing from Wendell. Missed wide. I think the St. Henry faithful thought it was tipped. Instead, the point goes to Fort Lormie, and they'll now trail by three in 11-8. Victoria Mesher, knuckleballs one into the center of the back row. Swung on by St. Henry's Morgan Bomber for the kill. Throws that lead back out to four. Fort Lormie scored the first two points of the set. St. Henry then rattled off five in a row. Has kept that lead somewhat consistent between three and five. More a team in the serve. Barhorse chases it down, poked over by Bar by Brandaway. Whirling, quick set, blocked at the net by Skylar Albers, sends it straight to the floor to shrink the lead to three. 
Couple of changes made for Fort Laramie as Ellen Frilling subs out of the game in exchange for Jaden Rose, who started the service off for Fort Laramie. Whirling the set on the outside to Bomber. Dug out by Fort Laramie. Redskins rolled over with Brandaway. Bomber receives. Whirling dumps it in the campfire. Fort Laramie there. Quick set to Bur Albers. Blocked at the net by St. Henry for the point. Close the window. Really no chance to get through there. Got a little bit of the tape on the top of the net as well. And the lead goes back to four for the visitors. Rolled over by Haley Grillo, Hallie Grillo. Fullenkamp takes a hardy cut, blocked at the net. And then we get a Fort Laramie Redskin in the net. To grow that lead back out to five here. And a timeout called by John Rogers, the Fort Laramie head coach. We'll step aside as well. St. Henry leads Fort Laramie 14 denied here in set number one on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Reese Meyer and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial futures. The Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard reads 14-9. St. Henry, the lead over Fort Loramie as the Redskins versus the Redskins. Fort Loramie takes the timeout. As Morgan Bomber serves. Summer Hoing rolls it over. Whirling. Set Gels. Blocked at the net. Misplayed. Down for the point, and the lead grows to six for St. Henry. Redskins eight and two. Won five in a row after dropping a four set match to Coldwater in their first Midwest Athletic Conference game of the season. At the net, joust won by St. Henry. Redskins try to roll it back over. Can't. That's a long run and long bump to try to get back over the net. And out of the Fort Loramie timeout, St. Henry's put two more on the board. Lead now seven. Largest of this first set. Barhorse chases down. And the third swing bumped over by Fort Loramie. Whirling, back set, swung on by Fullenkamp, down for the kill, and the lead grows. 17-9 now as St. Henry, Lydia Whirling, the senior setter, Putting the ball in some perfect placement for her hitters. Lollipop serve into the back row. Barhorst, cross court pass, Brandewee. Busher's there. Whirling, sets up Gels, swung on. Busher the dig after the block, and it'll fall to the floor. So Fort Lormy stops the bleeding momentarily, shrinks the lead back to seven here as we reach the closing stages of set number one. Lead back to eight for St. Henry. And now Raya Busher, the junior libero, drops back to serve. Leads and digs, and you've seen why. Here through set number one, has been there several times. Is right there, the swing from Hoying. Tipped over by St. Henry and drops to the floor as Lauren Tiemann, no, I beg your pardon, Carly Busher in the middle of the floor for the Redskins. Drops it to the wood. Gets that lead back out to nine. Busher, the lollipop in the middle of the floor. Uh, ace for the libero. St. Henry now doubling up for Lormy at 20-10 here in set number one. Miley Shadow comes on the floor for Fort Loramie. Busher, another serve and another ace. Saw the hole in the middle of the floor. Redskins of Fort Loramie gave a diving effort, just couldn't quite get there. And the largest lead of the match for St. Henry runs to 11. Another knuckleball serve. Barhorse, cross court pass. Hoing blocked and down. Lydia Whirling climbed the ladder over on the far sideline. 
the old blockaroni and cheese. 22 10. Busher continues to serve. Sends it just over the top of the tape. Barhorst, quick set, Albers blocked. Barhorst puts it where nobody's home. Great vision by Jenna Barhorst. Saw that there was nobody in that back corner and had a lot of room to work with. So even if she wasn't perfect, it was going to fall in the line. And St. Henry just kind of took their loss knowing it. There's no way we're going to be able to get there. And now Skyler Albers serves. And she'll tally an ace. The 5'9 senior puts one on the board, shrinks the lead to 10. Albers second on the team in blocks. Fourth in, or third, fourth in kills. Dropping back to serve. Where she has the most aces. And then Barhorse just puts it to the floor after it was returned on one pass. Here along this near side, just climb the ladder and put it straight to the wood. And Skylar Albers drops back to serve, looking to close the gap. Received by St. Henry. Whirling, Gels up high and down hard. Tough to handle, and Chloe Gels gets a set like that. Makes it 23-13. Gels leads St. Henry with 124 kills coming into tonight. This morning, I guess. And the serve a little long for St. Henry. Great read by the Fort Loramie defense there to see that that was going to be long. Didn't touch it. Lead shrinks to nine as Jenna Barhorst will serve. Puts it into the far corner. And another ace for Fort Lormy. Yeah. 23-15 the score on the Reese Myring and Company scoreboard. That one hits the top of the tape. Raya Busher, the one-hand dig. Swung outside to Molly Wendell, it'll drop to the floor. Wendell, another kill. Brings it to set point at 24-15 here in set number one. And Chloe Gels will serve, looking to close it out for the visiting Redskins. Down the far sideline, Barhorst, cross-court pass. Hoing blocked at the net, kept alive by the Redskins. Whirling, cross-court pass. Bomber poked back up in the air by Fort Loramie. They'll roll it over. Busher the dig. Whirling. Sets. Tipped at the net and down. And Molly Wendell gets the set ending kill at 25-15. We'll go to set number two next here on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor, Structure Outdoor Ohio by All Sled Structure Outdoor Ohio, bringing more indoors out. Set two about to get underway. St. Henry took set number one, 25-15. Fort Lormie 11 and one on the season. Their lone loss coming at the hands of these St. Henry Redskins at the Coldwater Spike Off, Cavalier Spike Off, back in August. So basically, Fort Lormie haven't lost in a month. St. Henry, winners of five in a row. Served by Bomber. Returned by Albers into the back row. Whirling, quick set, up high. And a Lormy Redskin called for a double contact. For the first point of the set to St. Henry. So Bomber sends it away one more time. And that one got the top of the tape. Please do announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. If that swing from Ellie Fullenkamp misses just wide, and the point goes to Fort Lorman. Into the back corner on a swing from Brandoway. St. Henry, swing from Fullenkamp, blocked at the net. Gels 
pushed it just wide, tried to cut it down that far side. His near sideline was completely covered by Fort Loramie defenders. Tried to swing it to the other side, couldn't, and it's 3-1 Loramie. Bomber the receive on the Brandoe serve. Gells on the outside, blocked. Fort Loramie keeps it alive, joust at the net, kept alive by St. Henry. Ryan Busher rolls it over. And St. Henry is called for four contacts, I believe. I don't think that's a very popular call. As head coach Trisha Rosenbeck wants an explanation. Not sure where the miscommunication comes from. Is it, I don't think anybody on St. Henry's side thought that that was even an option. Instead, it's 4-1 Fort Loramie. Brandon, we will serve again down the far sideline, right down that line is Whirling. Back sets, full in camp, dug out in the back row by Fort Loramie. Brandon, we from behind the 10-foot line, got a little bit under the volleyball, sent it long, and the point goes to St. Henry. Playing behind the 10-foot line, a little difficult there for Fort Lorme as it's served away by Raya Busher. Cross-court pass, bar horse, blocked by St. Henry and down for the point. Lydia Whirling slammed the door shut. Summer Owen got a great pass on the outside. Just put it right into the heart of that St. Henry defense. Drops to the floor for a point. Hoyne gets the pass. Left it just wide. And we're all square at four on the Reese Myring and Company scoreboard. Raya Busher continues to serve for St. Henry. Short. Kept alive by the Redskins. Rolled it back to the middle of the floor in Fort Lormie. And then a double counter, a prolonged contact. Called against St. Henry. Gives the lead back to Fort Lormie at 5-4. Skyler Albers the serve. Whirling. Quick set to Carly Busher up high for the swing. That spike ties it at five. As Fort Lormie had a 4-1 lead at one point here in the early stages of set number two. And have seen that evaporate. Sent away by Lydia Whirling. Swing from Molly Wendell, kept alive by Fort Loramie. Hoing blocked one more time. Barhorst, cross-court pass. Brando, will just dump it over. Pop back up in the air by St. Henry. Gels will take a run at it. Received by Brando, kept alive. Hoing the swing and finds the floor. 6-5, Fort Loramie. After the kill. And now Jenna Barhorst serves. Fort Loramie, winners at 10 straight. Serving in the back row. Whirling, popped it up. Tipped over by St. Henry. Barhorse back set to Ellen Frilling. Dug out by St. Henry. Gels will have to stand and take the cut at it. Kept alive by Fort Loramie. One more swing to get it over. Do. Quick set. Blocked. Popped back up in the air by the Redskins. Joust at the net. And we'll get a Fort Loramie Redskin over the line. So we're all square at six. We've traded points a couple of times now, and Chloe Gell's serving for St. Henry. Blocked on the swing from Hoying. She'll take another cut at it. That one got into the back row. St. Henry somehow able to not, oh, just almost got it back over. That's a long run, track it down, but left it just short of the net. So the point to Fort Loramie makes it 7-6. 
Summer Owing, the six-foot senior, serves it away. A little side spin action on it. Pushed it wide to the far side to make it 7-7. Olivia Gast serving. Barhorst, cross-court pass, Brandaway. Big swing, dug out by Gast. A hearty cut taken by Morgan Bomber for the point. Bomber usually plays as a defensive specialist, but playing a little bit on the outside today. Has a couple of killed there in the first set. Gets one there to make it 8-7 here in set number two. Gast the serve. Barhorst, quick set measure for the kill. The junior third for Fort Lormie and kills. Leads and blocks as Fort Lormie spreads the wealth pretty evenly in the kill department with Summer Ahoy and Avery Brandaway, Victoria Mesher and Skylar Albers all getting regular swings at the volleyball. Bomber. Grows the lead for Fort Lormie. Make it 9-8. Mesher serves again just over the top of the tape. Whirling to Gels. She gets on top of it. So it's all tied to nine between the Redskins and Redskins. And that brings Lauren Tiemann on the junior to serve for St. Henry. Stings one over the top of the net. Brandoy rolls it over with the top spin. Dumped over by Whirling, nobody home. And the lead goes to St. Henry. Serve just pushed wide by Tiemann. Tried to send it just along this near sideline, couldn't. And we're all knotted up again at 10. As Ellen Frilling serves, the standing serve, whirling, quick set, full in camp, popped up in the air, pushed over by Fort Loramie. Whirling, cross court pass, bomber. Somehow, Frilling got the pass to another Redskin. And the point goes to Fort Loramie on the double contact. Frilling puts a little too much mustard on that one. And again, all square at 11. So a back and forth match here on set number two. Yes, Morgan Bomber will serve. Nearly got the ace. Brandewe rolls it back to the middle of the floor. Gels blocked at the net by Barhorst. Skyler Albers there as well to close that door. Slammed it shut. 12-11. Fort Lormie the lead. Brandewe, second on the team in kills, serves. As Gels takes some off of it, palms it over. Barhorst, big swing, but pushed it wide. Fort Lormie originally pointed at St. Henry, saying, oh, it's tipped. No call. Keeps it at 12-12. I guess pushes it to 12-12. Either side really taking much advantage here. Get that snowball rolling downhill as Raya Busher serves into the middle of the floor. Barhorst, pass to Hoyne, off the block and down. <laughs> Hoyne from the outside gets the kill. Gives Fort Lormie back the lead of 13-12. St. Henry won set number one, 25-15.
As we're all squared 13 now here in set number two. Lydia Whirling, the setter for St. Henry, the senior serving into the back row. Barhorst, back set, Victoria Mesher, popped back up in the air by St. Henry. Gels into the back row, dug out by the Redskins. Barhorst tries to dump it over. Busher's there, swing from the far side, misses wide on that far line. Gives the lead back to Fort Warmy, 14-13. Ellen Frilling will come back on the floor for Fort Loramie. As Barhorst punches into the back corner. Far side, Whirling. Quick set, up high, but pushed it long. No, they'll say it's tipped. All right, Redskin in the net, I believe, is the call for Fort Loramie. So the point goes to St. Henry, tying it up at 14 all. Yells, the serve, Barhorst looking for Hoing, dug out by Busher. Redskins can't track it down. The point to Fort Lormy makes it 15-14. Back and forth set number two, neither squad ever really able to extend their lead. Summer Hoing to serve. Whirling, tipped over by Wendell, but it never got over. Avery Brandewee says no thank you, rejects it. And a timeout taken by St. Henry will step aside as well. 16-14 here at set number two. Four more leads on WOSN. Scoreboard sponsor, Reese Myring and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. That scoreboard reads 16-14. Fort Lormy with a lead here in set number two. As Summer Hoyne looks to serve it away for the Lormy Redskins. St. Henry taking the timeout, looking to stop some Fort Lormy momentum here. As Hoing punches it into the back row. Whirling, cross court pass to Bomber, finds the floor. Ryan Bush will take a seat on the floor, or on the bench, I beg your pardon. Be quite odd if she took a seat on the floor. Takes a seat on the bench. And now Olivia Gast serves for St. Henry. Into the back row, looking to tie things up. Barhorst. Chases it down, Hoying rolls it over. Whirling, a quick set to Fullenkamp, pushed over. Kept alive by Fort Loramie, back set to Ellen Frilling. Off a couple of Redskins and down. Fort Loramie grows that lead back out to two at 17-15. So they trade points out of the timeout. So Victoria Mesher will serve now. Mesher just a junior. Knuckleballs into the back row, and should drop an ace. The lead grows to three. 18-15. Fort Loring tries to take set number two. Mesher pushed it long. And St. Henry closes the gap. St. Henry goes to serve now as Lauren Tiemann will send it away. Barhorst tracks it down, frilling the swing into the back row. Gels from behind the 10-foot line. Got it on the line. Fort Lormy left it alone, thought it was headed wide. Wasn't. Dropped on the white. And the lead is down to one. Teeman, another serve. Barhorst, back set, Frilling finds a spot on the floor. <laughs> Ellen.
Colin Frilling, the senior. After the kill, now serving. Leading by two. Now leading by three after an ace for the senior middle hitter. Makes it 2017. It's really for the first time here in set number two. One squad has gotten just the smallest amount of separation. And Frilling hopes to add to it. Big swing from Bomber. Up high and down hard. On the set from Whirling. Both setters average just, uh, Jenna Barhorse averages just more than 10 assists a set. Lydia Whirling at 9.3, so a couple real good ones in the area going at it today. That's the serve from St. Henry. Brandwe popped back up in the air by Raya Busher. Gels from the outside, blocked. Busher, the one hand swing. Whirling tries to dump it over, kept alive. Barhorse does the same. Hers finds the wood to grow the lead back out to three. Four-point advantage for Lorme. And another St. Henry timeout will step aside as well. The conclusion is set number two upcoming here on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor, Structure Outdoor Ohio by Olds. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Fort Lormie looking to close out set number two. They lead 22-18 after the St. Henry timeout. As Avery Brandoy will send it away for the Redskins. Dropped it on the line. Perfect placement by Avery Brandoy, the 5'10 junior. Everybody on the St. Henry side shouted out. Dropped it just on the white line. And now Lormie two set points away from forcing a set number four eventually. The receive, Whirling, tipped over by Fullenkamp, finds the floor. <laughs> Ellie Fullenkamp, the junior, second on St. Henry and kills, has been pivotal here in the first two sets for the Redskins as Raya Busher now serving. Hoping to shrink this gap. And pushed it just long. Makes it set point for Fort Lormie at 24-19. Skyler Albers leads the team in aces with 31 coming into today. Serving, looking to close out set number two. Got it just over the top of the tape. Whirling, yells the swing off a of red skin. Barhorst dumps it over. St. Henry's there. Whirling, yells one more time. Blocked at the net. And Fort Loramie takes set number two at 25-19. We'll go to set number three when we return. High School Volleyball here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Reese Meyer and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Set three about to get underway. Both squads with one set in their back pocket. We'll see who can come away with a set number three victory. Or at least play four here this morning at Fort Lorming. As we are now actually in the afternoon. So it's now officially afternoon. So somebody will win set three this afternoon, set four this afternoon, maybe a set five this afternoon. As Jaden Rose serves to begin set number three, whirling the back set, tipped at the net, popped over by Fort Lorming. Busher, whirling, swung on by Bomber, dug out by Fort Lormie, pushed over to Brandewey, finds a spot on the floor for the kill, and the homestanding Redskins get the first point of the set. Good rally back and forth for both squads. Great effort from both Fort Lormie and St. Henry here. Early this morning and now this afternoon. Whirling, Bomber took some off of it. Redskins able to handle it. Hoing from the back row to Gels. 
Busher, cross court pass to Bomber, into the back row one more time. Barhorst, quick set, Albers tipped over, popped right back to her. Barhorst cross court pass to Brandoway, and she'll find the floor. Avery Brandoway with a couple of kills here today, a couple that have been nothing but wood. Makes it 2 0 Fort Loramie. Rose continues to serve. Tipped over by St. Henry. A little miscommunication, but they're able to get it over. Brandon with a block and another kill for the junior. Three nothing Fort Loramie to begin set number three here. After they took set 20, number two, 25 19. Rose the serve. Whirling. Quick set, full on camp, tipped over. And we get a red skin. Commits an infraction. It gives St. Henry their first point of the match. First point of the set, I beg your pardon. Bomber sends it away. Barhorst, back set, double contact. I'll tell you, if you get that set with spin on it, it came off wrong and you hit it twice. And just like that, St. Henry now trails by one. We're all knotted up at three after the ace by Bomber, who led the Redskins coming into today. Tally's another one there, tying it up at three apiece. Barhorse, the pass to Brandoy. Busher's there. Yells, the cut, blocked at the net. Miscommunication, finds it to the floor. And St. Henry, after trailing 3-0, has scored four straight to take the advantage on the Reese Myron Company scoreboard. Bomber tried to lollipop it. If it had about another six inches on it, it's the perfect placement. Instead, it's all square at four. Brandoe to serve. Received by the Redskins. Gels took some off of it. Summer Hoying dug out by Busher. Whirling, quick set, full in camp. Nobody in corner pocket. St. Henry grows the lead to one at 5-4. Busher on to serve. Barhorse tried to tip it over. Instead, Gels cuts it down the line. Lead down two for the Redskins at 6-4. Chloe Gels, been a quiet day so far for the senior. Fort Lormings did a nice job of making sure the block is set up and making her either go over it or try to go through it. Busher, lollipops to the middle of the floor. Barhorst, back set. Albers, kept alive by St. Henry. They're able to get it between the twigs. Barhorst, cross court pass to Hoing. That one hit the antenna and out. So the point goes to St. Henry. Just tickled the candy cane, and that grows the lead to three for St. Henry. Somebody's going to take command of the match here in set number three. Busher hit the top of the tape, drops for the ace. A timeout taken by Fort Lormie here in set number three. We'll step aside as well. 8 4 St. Henry on WOSN. Tonight's Easter Replay, sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by all. So let's Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. St. Henry rattling off a couple of points here, making it 8-4. That's the swing by Skylar Albers. Drops to the wood for Fort Loramie. 
out of the timeout, which is what you want to see if you are John Rogers, the Fort Army head coach. You're calling that timeout to regroup and put some points on the board. First one goes Fort Lormie's way. Skyler Albers, the stinger, right over the top of the net for the ace. That's tough to handle. That had some pace on it. Not much over the top of the tape. Not a whole lot of spin on it either. Just a laser beam. And she shrunk the lead to two. Leading the team in aces. St. Harry tracks that one down. Bomber chips it over. Barhorst, back sent to Mesher. Tough to handle. Somehow, Raya Busher did. Gels into the back row, dropped it inside the line for the point. I tell you what, the swing from Victoria Mesher had some heat on it. Raya Busher's there. St. Henry able to return it and grow the lead to three. Senior setter Lydia Whirling serving. Knuckleball down the far side. Barhorse, quick set, measure, nothing you can do about that. Barhorse been looking for measure. That one just left it hanging there. She smacked it to the floor to cut the lead to two. Barhorse to serve. Cut on by St. Henry. Swing by Hoyne, dug out by Busher. Gells the cut, and a red skin in the net. Make it 10 7 on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. Gells serving. Return and climb the ladder. Thought it. Come up over, instead it drops to the floor and the point to Fort Lormie. Just misjudged it. And now Summer Hoyne serving. Whirling, the set, and the kill for Carly Busher. Had a couple here today, has the sophomore. She'll take a seat on the bench after tallying the point, growing the lead to three. Gast serving. Tipped over somehow. Fort Lormie keeps it over, rolls it over. Whirling, cross court pass. Bomber took some off of it into the back row. Barhorst, coin behind the 10 foot line, dug out by Gast. St. Henry takes a hearty cut at it. And it's blocked by Fort Lormie. Avery Brandaway and Victoria Mesher there to close the gap and shrink the lead to two. Mesher now serving. And it's whirling. Pops it up, the back set. And a swing and kill for Molly Wendell. And now she'll take a seat on the bench in exchange for Lauren Tiemann, but Wendell put some heat on it. Rose lead to three at 12 9. Team in the serve. Barhorse chases it down for the second pass. Brandewey gets a hearty cut at it. Whirling dumps it over in the campfire for the point. Caught Fort Lorman happen. Dropped it to the floor. The lead is now four for St. Henry. Redskins 8 and 2, Fort Lormie 11 and 1. Only team to beat Fort Lormie this year, St. Henry. It's Brandoy. The swing pushed it wide. And I say it's tipped. Ellen Frilling to serve. Down the near sideline. Whirling. Back sets full in camp. Dropped it in the side of the line, the corner pocket, got it just tucked in. Makes it 14-10. Bomber serving. 
into the back row. Barhorse tips over. Busher there. Whirling. Gels. Long. Fourteen eleven is the score now. Avery Brandaway serving for the Redskins who trail in this all Redskin matchup. Fort Lormy reached over. To the point to St. Henry. Brian Busher serving now. Leading by four. Put it in a perfect spot. Barhorst, however, it's a great set to Skylar Albers. But St. Henry sets up the wall, drops it back to the floor for the five point advantage at 16 11. Busher. Barhorst tries to tip it over. St. Henry's there. Gels takes some off of it in the middle of the floor. Brandoy. Can't get it over, and the lead grows to six. Some momentum rests with St. Henry right now. Each team with one game in their pocket. Busher into the middle of the floor. Barhorst has to chase it down. Hoyne got it off the tip and down. So Fort Lormick stops the bleeding here for just a moment. Trailing by five. Summer Owen had to track it down. And now Skyler Albers, who leads in aces, serves for Fort Lormie. St. Henry back set, blocked at the net, kept alive. Busher tracks it down. Gels off the block and down. Keeps that lead at six, 18-12. St. Henry's gotten comfortable in that lead, keeping it between four and six. Pushed it a little long on the serve. To shrink it to five. Lydia Whirling serves. Or I beg your pardon, Jenna Barhorse serves after Lydia Whirling just served for St. Henry. Tipped over, blocked at the net. Busher, the pass. Popped alive by Molly Wendell. Barhorst, Mesher blocked. Summer Hoyne pushes it over. It <laughs> continues to be played at the net. And the point to St. Henry on the double contact. Nineteen thirteen to score. As Chloe Gells sends it away. Barhorst, the pass. Swing from Mesh or from Hoing. And then you get a double contact on St. Henry. Hoing the serve. And the ace. Nineteen fifteen. The score. There's a quick set to Busher. Kept alive and finally will drop to the floor. Twenty fifteen the score. That's the fifth kill of the match for Carly Busher. on to serve now, looking for her first ace of the day. Leading by five at 2015. Barhorst, back set, Mesher, smacked, kept alive by St. Henry. Blocked at the net and down. Brandoy got all of it. To close the door and close the gap to four. Victoria Mesher 
They'll stand in the middle of the back row to send away. Got it just over the net. Swung on, blocked, and Fort Lormie's closed the gap and closed the door again. Ellen Frilling and Skylar Albers not letting it through. It's 2017 Redskins, time out taken. We'll step aside as well here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Reese Meyer and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial futures. St. Henry's seen their lead shrink to three as Fort Loramie's climb back here in set number three as Victoria Mesher serves. Chloe Gells takes some off of it from behind the 10 foot line. Ellen Frilling the swing, pop back up in the air by St. Henry. Bomber blocked, sent right back to her. Wendell from the outside. Barhorse the dig, tipped over. St. Henry can't return it, and Fort Lormie has shrunk the lead to two. 2018 on the Reese Myring and Company scoreboard. As Fort Lormie continues to serve, shrinking this gap. Masher, the standing serve one more time. Into the back row, returned completely. Barhorst. Back set and a double contact. Didn't get it cleanly. And the lead grows to three. Teaming on to serve. Pushed in long. And just like that, the lead back down to two. Here in the closing stages of set number three. Somebody's going to take a 2-1 advantage here. As Ellen Frilling will serve. And will trade service errors, making it 22-19. So a three-point advantage. For St. Henry. Bomber the serve. Barhorst, back sent Albers. Get a red skin in the net. It looked as if the swing was going to be good anyway, whether there was somebody in the net or not. So that makes it 22 20. Brandoe serves. Poked up in the air on the receive. Got it inside the candy cane somehow, and Summer Hoyne goes up high and down hard to shrink the lead to one. Both faithfuls making some noise, trying to will their teams to victory here in set number three. Makes it 23-21 on the error. Ryan Busher. Before she serves, Fort Lorme will take a timeout. We'll step aside as well. Conclusion of set three coming up on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor, Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. St. Henry looking to close out set number three. Fort Lormie looking to see if they can't steal it from the Redskins at 23-21. St. Henry leads. Ryan Busher the serve. Barhorst back set. Albers dug out by St. Henry. Whirling looking for Gels. Blocked at the net. Pushed wide. And the point to St. Henry brings up set point at 24-21. Busher will serve, looking to close out the set. Barhorst, fast to Hoing, blocked, pushed wide. So the point to Fort Lorman. 24-22. And Skyler Albers, the leading server for Fort Lorman and Aces, serving. 
Popped up in the air, might have been long. Redskins return. Gels cuts it over. Barhorst over and down. Jenna Barhorst finds the floor. St. Henry takes a timeout. We'll keep it here at 24-23. As St. Henry wants to talk things over here momentarily. One to break that Fort Laramie momentum. St. Henry had a couple of leads, as many as six and seven throughout set number three here. Instead, the lead now is down to one. As Fort Laramie has climbed all the way back. And those first serve receives have been key for both sides. If you've gotten a good first pass to your setter, things have gone pretty well. If you've had to run and chase like we've seen a couple of different times from both squads, it's been difficult, especially with the power hitters for both sides. Chloe Gells for St. Henry with six kills so far tonight. Lydia Whirling has four. And Carly Busher has four as well. For Fort Loramie, Summer Hoying with six kills. Brandley with four. Barhorst with four. As Albers will look to serve, trying to knock things up at 24 apiece. She gets the whistle that she's allowed to send it away. And does. Busher, the return. Gels climbs the ladder. Blocked at the net. Popped in the air. Joust at the net. One by St. Henry. Busher. Gels kept alive by Fort Loramie. And it falls to the floor. St. Henry takes set number three at 25-23. We'll step aside, come back with fourth set action, St. Henry. Leads two games to one on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Reese Myring Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Set number four, about to get underway after a thrilling set three. 25-23 victory for St. Henry. They led by as many as seven in set three. Fort Loramie shrunk the lead all the way down to one before St. Henry closed it out to win by two. And now we'll play set number four as the first serve long from St. Henry. Gives the early advantage in set four to Fort Loramie. Avery Brand away the surf. Barhorse trying to tip it over. Fort Loramie ready for it. I beg your pardon, Albert uh, Whirling trying to set it over. Block of the net. We're a square at one. After the block from Ellie Fullenkamp. Fullenkamp had a quiet day so far today. Only two kills. She's second for St. Henry on the team with averaging three a set. Raya Busher surf. Barhorse tipped over, tried to put it in a perfect spot. Redskins ready for it. Gels, the long pass, kept it alive. Barhorst, the pass to Hoing, blocked, and the lead goes to St. Henry at 2 1. Busher's done a nice job serving today for St. Henry. Four aces to her tally. Looking for number five here. That ball just floats through the air like a butterfly when she knuckleballs it. Hoing blocked, but it's pushed wide by St. Henry. And we're all square at two. Skyler Albers ready to serve. Gels the cut. Pop back up by Fort Lormy. Joust at the net. Kept alive. Busher to Gels. Pushed it just long. St. Henry wants a tip. Didn't get it. Point and lead to Fort Loramie. Albers. Tough serve to receive. Bomber into the back row. Barhorst, the pass to Brandoe. Got on top of it, got it in the line. Make it 4-2 Loramie on the Reese Myring and Company scoreboard. <laughs> Albers.
Albers continues to serve. Gals from behind a 10 foot line. Somehow Fort Lormie returns it. And they get this point. St. Henry thought it was going to be long, got touched, popped in the air. But when you take the pedal off, <laughs> when you take the foot off the pedal, it's tough to restart it to go get it. And it's a 5 2 advantage for Lormie. Busher. Whirling, tries to dump it over. Barhorst is there. Hoying into the back corner. Whirling tries to dump it over, returned right back to St. Henry. Sent to Gels, takes a hearty cut at it, and gets the swing and kill. When Erica Gels, or Chloe Gels, I beg your pardon, you can climb, on, climb that ladder. Tough to handle, her seventh kill of the match. Tied with Summer Hoying to lead the match for both squads. Barhorst, Mesher the swing, got it inside the line for the point. The third kill in the match for Victoria Mesher. Barhorst to serve. Received by Busher. Chipped over by Wendell. Frilling the pass. Hoing. Got a hold of it. They'll say it's, well, we'll have a conversation here. Fort Lormie's saying it's tipped. I think they might be right. Line judges are asked to come to the conference. It's Fort Lormie insistent that the ball was tipped by St. Henry. Looks like one line judge says she didn't see it. And they'll say it's out. So the point makes it 6-4 on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. Now, Trisha Rosenbeck just wants an explanation and a check on making sure her rotation and Fort Loramie's rotations are correct. So 6-4 here in set number four. Fort Loramie the lead, needing to stave off elimination here. As St. Henry will, now they'll figure out that Chloe Gells should be the one serving. So now we're all set and ready to play. And continue set number four. As Barhorse, the pass to Summer Hoy. Chipped, kept alive by St. Henry. Tipped over by Wendell. Barhorst, the pass to Hoy. Received by Busher. Whirling, quick set, blocked. Kept alive by the Redskins. Wendell on the outside, tipped. And Fort Loramie able to get it over. Great rally from both sides. Whirling, quick set, up high and down hard for Carly Busher. Shrinks the lead to one. Her fifth kill of the set, fifth, fifth kill of the match, I beg your pardon. Fifth kill of the set would be pretty impressive. Seeing here, he's only got five points. Yell serving again, push it long. The lead grows to two for Fort Loramie, it's 7-5. As Hoyne sends it away. Tipped up, Wendell tips down. The 5'10 sophomore, Molly Wendell, took some off of it, got her fingertip on it. To make it 7-6 on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. St. Henry winning this set, closes it out. Fort Loramie win, pushes it to a pivotal set number five. Barhorst, quick set to Mesher up high. Didn't get all of it, got enough of it. Still had a little bit of heat on it. And that leads back out to two, her fourth kill. Fort Lormie's got a couple of 
players that can just be right in the middle of that floor at all times. They've got some size and athleticism. It's tough to handle. You see why they've won 10 straight. It's a double contact called against St. Henry. Advances the lead to three for the homestanding Redskins. Mesher, tough serve to handle. St. Henry did so. Swing from Bomber for the kill. Make it 9-7 on the Reese Modern and Company scoreboard. As Lauren Tiemann will serve for St. Henry here. Looking to cut into that Fort Lormy lead. Barhorst, frilling the swing, dunk out by St. Henry, whirling, quick set to Fullenkamp, kept alive by Saint by Fort Loramie. Frilling cuts it down to the far sideline, tipped over by St. Henry's bomber. Hoing behind the 10-foot line for the point. It's 10-7, Fort Loramie. St. Henry's never really been able to shrink that gap all that much here in set number four. Frilling sends it away. It's 10-8. St. Henry serving. It's Bomber, who leads at aces. Has two, now has three. So just like that, St. Henry's now got it down to one. They, Fort Loramie had steadily been in the two to three range. Bomber another serve, that one drove the lead back to two. The serve from Brandewee. St. Henry able to get it over. Has to settle for getting it over as Hoing takes a cut. Dug out by the Redskins. Popped over to Gels. Put too much sauce on it. And the lead grows just like that. Back to three for Fort Warmy. A timeout taken by Trisha Rosen. Back to St. Henry Kent, head coach. We'll step aside as well for fourth set action coming up on WLSN. Scoreboard, Reese Miring and Company, CPAs helping small business navigate their financial futures. Fort Lormie, three point lead on that scoreboard. They got a four point lead. Avery <laughs> Brandoy put her hands to her face. She was mortified at the, <laughs> at the serve. It works. Lux on her side, it hits the tape, falls over. Her third ace of the match. St. Henry tries to climb the ladder, slam it to the floor. Brandoy, or Albers, I beg your pardon, the kill. The lead is now five. Third kill, second kill, I beg your pardon, for Albers. And a serve just long. So St. Henry will drop Ryan Busher back to serve. A very good server. Down the far sideline, Barhorst, the pass to Albers, pushed it wide. Trying to cut it. St. Henry was at the middle of the floor and the near side of the floor covered. So after Fort Lormie, grown the lead to five. It's now down to three at 14-11. Busher had that top spin in the near corner pocket. Hoying off the block and down. Another kill for Summer Hoing, her eighth, ninth, I beg your pardon. Makes it 15-11. Albers to serve. Gels up high and down hard. Mentioned earlier, when Chloe Gels gets a set like that, she can get a run and jump at it. It's tough to handle. Her sixth kill. 
No, her seventh kill. Makes it 15-12. Chipped over by Fort Lormy. Whirling to pass to Gels again. That one blocked, kept alive by Busher. Wendell, the cut, blocked at the net by Hoying. St. Henry can't get it over in three. And Fort Lormy grows the lead to four. St. Henry leads the match two games to one. They won sets one and three. 25-15, 25-23. Fort Lormy took set number two, 25-19. As Gels, the swing, pop back up in the air. Brandon, we able to return. Quick set, looking for Busher, and it drops to the floor. A little miscommunication there by Fort Lormy. Will shrink the lead to three. 16-13 on the Reese Meinering and Company scoreboard. Chloe Gell's the serve. Barhorse, the quick set, Mesher tipped it over. Raya Busher over to Molly Wendell, dug out by Barhorst. Hoing, Brandewey, got it inside the line. Seventeen, thirteen, the score now. That lead staying at four for the Redskins. And Summer Hoing going to serve. Busher, whirling, Bomber kept alive by Barhorst. Brandoey miss hit it. She knew it right away. Shrinks the lead to three. Both sides living and dying with every point right now. Here as we are closing in on the late stages of set number four. And Olivia Gast going to serve. Brando, we will just bump it over. Whirling. The pass to Wendell off the block and down. is down to two. St. Henry starting to build momentum. Fort Lormy faithful trying to keep their girls in it. Gast into the back row. Barhorse to set to Mesher. Down for the point. It's a great set by Barhorst. Getting it up to Mesher. She's got five kills now. And that lead is back out to three. Mesher the serve, knuckleballed over the net. Quick set to Ellie Fullenkamp, kept alive by Fort Lormy. Avery Brandoway the swing, Raya Busher the, sir, the set. Swing by Bomber off the block and down. Fort Lormy almost stalemated that volleyball for just a moment instead. The lead shrinks to two at 18-16. Team in the serve. Brandoey receives. Barhorse looking for Brandoey. Got it off the top of the block. Whirling. Quick set to pull and camp and down. Just like that, the lead shrinks to one. It's 18 17. Lauren, he wants to talk about it. We'll step aside as well. More fourth set action coming up. WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. 18-17. Was a five-point lead. It's got as many as six for Fort Loramie. It's now just a one-point advantage for the Shelby County Skins. And now we're all tied up at 18 after the ace. My Lauren Demon. Her first of the match comes at a big time. St. Henry knots it up at 18 out of the Fort Lormy timeout. Demon sends it down the far sideline. Barhorst looking for Brandy. She'll take a run at it. Pushed it long. 
and the lead rests with the Mercer County Redskins. Demon will send it away one more time at least. Taking a 19-18 advantage. Barhorse has to get under the volleyball. Ellen Frilling climbs the ladder. Redskins there. Bomber on the outside, blocked, kept alive. Raya Busher centers it up. Teeman chips it over. Barhorse, the quick set to Albers, blocked, kept alive. Cross court pass this time to Brandwe, tips it. Sent right back to Fort Lormie on one hit. Hoying from behind the 10 foot line, dug out by Busher. Joust at the net, kept alive, and a double contact by St. Henry. Gives the point to Lormy and knocks it up at 19. Jaden Rose on to serve for Fort Lormy. Busher, whirling, bomber. Miss hits, and the lead now rests with Fort Lormie. 2019 on the Reese Meiring and Company scoreboard. Set number four, Fort Lormie trying to force set five. St. Henry trying to go home. Rose, the ace. Perfect placement by Jaden Rose. Her second ace of the night. Throws the lead to two. St. Henry will take a timeout. We will as well. 21-19 here in set number four on WOSN. Twenty-one nineteen, Fort Lormie. A little bit of momentum here out of the timeout. Leading by two, led by as many as six. St. Henry took a one-point advantage before Fort Lormie clawed back to take this two-point lead late in set number four, looking to force set number five. Jaden Rose sends it away into the back row. Whirling, back set, tipped over into the floor for St. Henry as Ellie Fullenkamp gets up and gets the point. Her fourth kill of the match. Shrinks the lead to one. What St. Henry wants to see out of the timeout. A bomber sends it away. And it's long. Nearly hit a Fort Lormie Redskin. Got out of the way just in the right moment. And it's 22-20. Brandoy serving. Busher pops it up to Whirling. Gels the kill. Twenty-two, twenty-one. Chloe Gels now with eight kills tonight. Raya Busher to the barrow for St. Henry serving with four aces tonight. Barhorse tips it over. Busher's there, whirling the set. Gels through the block and down. Oh, knotted up at 22 on the Reese Myring Company scoreboard. The St. Henry faithful start to make a little noise as Busher sends it away, all square at 22. Bar horse to Brandewey and down. 23 22, Loramie. As they look to close out. Set number four. Still with one time out in their back pocket, looking to force set five. Albers punches it away. Leading by one to the net. No, now we're all squared at 23 after the joust won by St. Henry. Whirling serving. St. Henry needs two points. Fort Loramie needs two. The four set five. Pulling the swing. Yells is there. Punched over by Bomber. Barhorst back set to Mesher. Left it long. Fort Loramie says it was tipped. And they're right. Makes it 24-23.
Lormy insistent from the start that it was touched. It was. Makes it 24-23 with Barhorse serving. Set point. Yells into the back row. Barhorst. Mesher tips and down and will go to set number five as Loramy wins set number four, 25 to 23. We'll step aside and come back with the final set when we return on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Reese Meyer and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial futures. Set number five, about to get started. St. Henry won sets number one and three. Fort Lormie wins two and four. And we'll play to 15 now on a mad dash to that number. Fort Lormie, winners of 10 straight. They're 11 and one on the season. St. Henry, eight and two. St. Henry's two losses, both coming at the hands of Coldwater. Fort Lormie's lone loss coming to St. Henry at the Colt Cavalier spike off to start the season. Somebody's going to take an L here today. Somebody's going to grab a victory, but somebody's win streak is going to be snapped as Fort Lormie sends it away to start set number five as the swing from Gels kept up and alive by Fort Lormie. Tipped over by Whirling. Bar horse across court pass to Hoing. Chipped. Kept alive by St. Henry. Bomber the swing. Blocked. Kept alive by the Redskins. Bomber climbed the ladder that time. Popped back up in the air by Albers. Summer Hoing right at the 10-foot line. Chipped back up in the air. A great rally to start set number five. And it finally will fall to the floor. And the first point of this last set goes to Fort Loramie. Back and forth. Everybody kept getting it over. As Brandaway serves, leading one nothing. Bomber blocked at the net, and it'll drop. Fifth kill of the match for Bomber, and she'll now serve. Barhorse chases it down. Hoyne, a hearty swing. A big spike from Summer Hoyne makes it 2-1 here in set number five. Albers now serving. St. Henry prepares to receive. Albers put it in a tough spot. Redskins roll it over. Barhorst gets under it. Hoying the swing. Kept alive by St. Henry. Raya Busher gets it over. Barhorst tracks it down. Hoying the bump. Whirling. Set to Gels. Climb the ladder, but Fort Lormie's ready for it. Tipped over. St. Henry leaps and dives. Swung on, and it'll drop to the floor. Barhorst took a hearty right cut at it, but it sent right back to her, to the wood. Makes it two all in set five. Push her back to serve. All square at two in the race to 15. Barhorst, back set, double contact. Busher with the one-point lead. Barhorst, the pass to Hoyne and down. Got it off the side of the St. Henry block. All square at three. Jenna Barhorst to the senior. Junior, I beg your pardon. To serve. The run and swing from St. Henry. Fort Lormie somehow able to return it. Whirling the pass and the kill to Carly Busher. Her seventh kill of the night. 
Gives St. Henry the one point advantage at 4-3. Bloody O'Erling serves. The St. Henry setter. Down the far sideline. Barhorst. Hoing blocked it off the scorer's table for the red skin point. Knots it at four. Summer Owen got it just over the top of the tape. Gels the swing and kill. So hard to handle. Coming from the middle that time. Makes it 5-4. Say you want to be the first of five or the first of 10, and obviously the first of 15. St. Henry's the first of five here in set number five. Brandaway rolls it over. Whirling the pass, Bomber took some off of it, chipped back over and wide. St. Henry leads by two. Both sides cheering on their squads. There's Gels, pops it away. Barhorst to Frilling, nobody home. Ellen Frilling comes up with a big kill. Her fourth to cut that lead back to one. And now Victoria Mesher will serve. Looking to tie it at six. Bomber the swing. Blocked and comes right back to her. Ellen Frilling got all of it. And it's all square at six. A back and forth match similar here in set number five. We're all tied at six. Set. Never got a great block on it, and Carly Busher gets the kill for St. Henry. Makes it 7-6 on the recent Myron Company scoreboard. Gas to serve. Halfway to 15. Frilling <laughs> just had to get her fingertips on it to get it over. And it finds the wood to tie it at seven. She hit it. Didn't look like she liked how she hit it. And by the time she got to the floor, we're all knotted up again. Jaden Rose serving. 4-4 four, four, Lorman. The set to Molly Wendell. Blocked. Goes out. The point to St. Henry. Fort Lormy had the block set up and was there. Just sent it off the scorer's table on the return. So one point advantage for St. Henry. Looking to hand Fort Lormy their first loss in the last 10 matches. Albers blocked, kept alive by Fort Lormy. Brandoe this time, off of Gelsen down. Randaway one more time. Serves. Chipped over by St. Henry. Barhorst, Hoing, nobody's home, and it's on the line. The lead now with Fort Loramie at 9-8 on the Reese Byer and Company scoreboard as Summer Hoing tallies her 13th kill of the match. Brandaway to send it away. Left it short and got the ace. Put it in a perfect spot, did the junior, and it's now a two-point advantage for Fort Laramie. St. Henry will take a timeout. The Redskins were first to five from Mercer County. The Shelby County Skins, the first to 10, and we'll see who's the first to 15 when we return here on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor, Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. 
St. Henry trailing by two, takes the timeout. Avery Brand always sends it away. It's received by Raya Busher, swung on and blocked to the floor for Fort Laramie. The Redskins now lead by three on this wild swing. Brando, he will send it away one more time. Started with her ace, and the Redskins roll it over. Barhorst, cross court pass to Hoing, blocked, and signs the floor for St. Henry. This back and forth matchup on a Saturday morning that turned in to a Saturday afternoon. St. Henry, one sets one and three. Fort Loramie, one sets two and four. Just over the top of the tape, Barhorst back set to Albers. Climbed the ladder and got it over. Dumped into the campfire by St. Henry for the point. Back-to-back -back points for the Redskins have shrunk the lead to one at 11-10 in the race to 15. Bomber, the serve, the ace, and we're tied at 11 after the fourth ace by Bomber on this Saturday. We'll keep it here on the timeout by Fort Loramie, making it 11 all. St. Henry scores three straight points to knot it up. What a back and forth matchup. Two outstanding volleyball squads tonight. Last year, St. Henry 19 and six made it to the district final. Fort Loramie 21 and seven won the Shelby County League. Well on their way to doing that again in 2023 with a 6-0 record in league play. Again, St. Henry, winners of five in a row. Fort Loramie, winners of 10 in a row and their only loss on the year came to St. Henry. So we're all square at 11 after the timeout from Fort Loramie. As Morgan Bomber came into today with 23 aces. She's tallied four more. Would love to put one another one on the board here. Into the back row, and she does tally another ace. Give the lead to the Redskins at 12-11 on the Reese Meiring score, Reese Meiring and Company scoreboard. Bomber to send it away one more time. Centered up, Barhorst, Hoing, blocked. St. Henry's saying it never got over the tape and it should have been four. Instead, Fullen camps there for the massive kill to grow the lead to two, her fifth of the night. Another timeout called by Fort Lormie will step aside as well. St. Henry, two points from victory when we return on WLSN. Thirteen fifth, thirteen eleven here in set number five. It's a race to 15. St. Henry's trying to close it out. Fort Lormie's trying to close the gap. Redskins serving. Barhorst, the cross-court pass to Summer Hoy, blocked and down for the point to shrink the lead to one. Great set by Barhorst to Hoy, her 14th kill of the match. They have relied on her in set number four and set number five to get them points. And now Skylar Albers will send it away, trailing by one. Looking for Fullenkamp, chipped it over. Looking for Gels this time. Climb the ladder, but it's returned to St. Henry. Whirling, back set, Fullenkamp finds the floor to make its match point at 14-12. She'll take a seat on the bench, and Raya Busher will serve, looking to close it out for the Mercer County Redskins. Busher, the lollipop in the middle of the floor. Barhorse, cross-court pass to Hoyne, off the block and down, and Fort Lormy stays alive. It's the first of 15 is Victoria Mesher, the point. Barhorse serve, Whirling, Gels, the kill, and the win. 
Chloe Gells emphatically closes the door. They win 15-13 in set number five to take the match three games to two. St. Henry, one set, 125-15. Lormy came back, 125-19 in game number two. St. Henry took game number three, 25-23. But Fort Lormy stormed back to win 25-23 in set number four. And St. Henry takes the set five victory, 15-13 to take the three sets to two victory. That will do it from us here at Fort Loramie for our entire WOSN crew. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. We'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.